Hi friends, this video is for the people who are struggling to understand what is on-premises, PaaS, SaaS and IaaS. All these terms are sometimes confused for the beginners. So I'm just trying to bring some real life examples so that you can understand well about this. To start with the on-premises, just imagine the situation in your home kitchen. If you want to cook anything, all the relevant ingredients are required. You need to cook all you by yourself and you need to wash all your vessels by you, right? So now similar case when you are setting up your on-premises data center for your organization, you need to buy all the hardware. You need to maintain, manage all those resources, connectivity, air cooler, electricity, power backups, data backups, everything need to be managed by you including your hardware and the real estate as well same as your real kitchen at home your space of your kitchen is owned by you and all the stuff whatever it is required you need to buy if you have to cook 100 different items you can't buy 2000 ingredients for all those stuff including sweets desserts soups everything you can't make it it is very tough so that is when you can use a cloud so on the cloud you have all the 200 300 resources you can use based on what you need what you require for your application development or deployment so then what is the ias Pl platform as a service and software as a service these are the three different categories comes under the cloud there are plenty more but we are going to discuss only three of them so infrastructure as a service is nothing but you went to the kitchen there are some concept kitchens where you can cook all the food by yourself but all the ingredients material is provided by them and you don't wash anything you just only use and cook them same on the cloud as well in the infrastructure as a service you take all the vms you are not managing any hardware and even the operating system level but above level like if you want to deploy any softwares and security firewalls and operating system upgrades everything is managed by you but you are paying the rent to the cloud by for using that particular virtual machine same as like you are using the kitchen of the restaurant all the ingredients after the aftermath like everything need to be cleared cleaned everything will be taken care by the restaurant guys only part is like you're cooking same thing you can do in the infrastructure as a service coming to the pass platform as a service you are going to a restaurant you are ordering whatever it is needed and you can also ask them to customize based on your requirement see same way on the platform as a service you are taking everything from the cloud but you are deploying your own applications uh, your own databases but the complete platform is being controlled by the cloud vendor so whether it is a os upgrades security middleware runtime servers everything is being controlled by or managed by cloud vendor only thing you are just deploying your applications or data related or middleware so you're paying for whatever you're using same like a la carte in the restaurant you just order you if you need any customization you will ask them then you will use it right coming to the software as a service 100 percent is by the cloud vendors you don't need to really manage anything you can't even deploy any applications the applications are also provided by the uh, cloud vendors in the restaurant concept you can take buffet you can't customize anything whatever they have settled in the buffet items you have to just directly use them consume them same in the software as a service so you have applications you have data everything you will only use those applications directly example office 365 is a best one we use in our daily life you don't manage your servers you don't manage your data of that you only use the applications and pay to the microsoft platform as a service it could be app services or azure sql type of uh, services you just only use them to deploy your applications or databases coming to the infrastructure is azure vm you take the plat uh, uh, virtual machine and you deploy whatever you want and you have to manage at least uh, 
OS level upgrades, middleware, runtime data and applications. On premises, you should be completely managed and owned by you and you need to invest a lot on the hardware, software, everything, A to Z. So hope this will make you understand this basic terminology. So before entering into the cloud, you must need to first understand what, are, what is the segregation between on premises, uh, responsibility versus infrastructure, platform and software as a service. Thanks for watching my videos. In case if you have any feedback, please share it in the comments.